Hi there, I'm Josh. Welcome to Air Conditioner Lab, where we review a variety of home appliances and HVAC products so you can find the right brand for your needs. In this video, I'll be sharing my top five dual hose portable air conditioners. Dual hose models are slightly more expensive than their single hose siblings, but I often recommend them because they are more efficient and much more effective at cooling spaces quickly. These dual hose designs have one hose for exhaust, like all portable ACs, but also one air intake hose, allowing them to use fresh outdoor air for fast cooling. They are more effective than single hose models because the dual intake system allows the model to keep the coil and compressor cool at all times, which is far less taxing on the unit. One quick thing to note in this video is that BTU is equal to British thermal units, and this is a metric used for cooling power. The higher the BTU, the larger the area that can be cooled. All product links can be found in the description. Now, let's get started. At the top of my list is the Winter NEX Inverter AC. Inverter models are highly efficient because instead of cycling on and off, they change their fan levels incrementally as needed. Now this one comes with the additional bells and whistles of Wi-Fi controls and is also compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Home. The Winter NEX showcases this technology with a 10.79 energy efficiency rating, making it the most energy efficient model on my list. An energy efficiency rating or EER of 10 or higher will be ideal when looking into purchasing a dual hose portable AC. It does have a fairly high cooling wattage rating of 1,298 though, so I would recommend making sure this unit is plugged into a dedicated circuit. This simply means that you only have one appliance plugged into the outlet. Most home outlets max out at 1,800 watts. Now this 14,000 BTU winter model is excellent for cooling spaces of up to 600 square feet. I've been using this model in my finished basement and my family has been enjoying consistent cooling all summer long. You won't have to worry about continuously emptying the condensate either. Even though this winter model can remove up to 87 pints of moisture per day, most of that will be auto evaporated and expelled through a nano mist through the exhaust. That said, this winter model is quite large, so I recommend some planning before your purchase. It's almost 33 inches tall, 20 inches wide, and 16 and a half inches deep before considering the hoses. It also weighs a whopping 77 pounds, which means you likely won't want to be moving it too often. My favorite feature of this dual hose design is that it actually has a hose within a hose setup. This ensures even less heat loss on the exhaust and more quiet function for my family. On a low setting, I registered this model at just 42 decibels, which is comparable to a running refrigerator. At a price of about $600, I know that the Winter NEX Inverter is a bit of an investment. I purchased this model with an added heated function for about $50 more as I needed year-round comfort in a large room. The second model that I have for you is also from Winter, the ARC 14S. Now, like the first model I shared, this one is also a 14,000 BTU model, but it's more suitable for spaces of up to 500 square feet. It has two separate hoses instead of the hose-in-hose -hose design, which makes positioning this winter model much more flexible. I like using this one in my garage because I can shift its position from my workshop area to my gym area with ease. The ARC 14S does not have an inverter, but still comes right behind my top model in energy efficiency with an EER of 10.77. It has 1,300 watts of cooling power, so just like my first winter model, I'm going to recommend a dedicated circuit for this one, which you'll find will be standard for pretty much all dual hose models. This winter model has a width of 16 inches and depth of 19 inches. It's a bit taller than the winter NEX at 36 inches, but slightly less hefty at 73 pounds. For those who like the idea of the Winter NEX Inverter, but who want to save about $100, this Winter model is a good choice. The only real downside is that it's noticeably louder than the Inverter model, registering at about 51 decibels on low, which is comparable to a box fan. For around $500 though, this is a great dual hose design option at a more affordable price point. My next model is for those who are looking for a top-of-the-line product with all the bells and whistles. The Medea Duo is another hose-within-a-hose -hose option similar to the Winter NEX Inverter. This Medea model is the most expensive one on my list at around $700, but for those in super-humid environments, this one will be the winner every time. 
I recently installed this one in my sister's studio apartment in Southern Florida, and she's been super impressed with the moisture removal of this model, up to 122 pints per day. Another feature that makes this model ideal for apartment living is its incredibly quiet running power, even at 1,300 watts. It uses inverter technology and runs at 42 decibels, providing uninterrupted cooling day and night. My sister's favorite feature is that the Medea Duo is completely smart enabled. It can be controlled via remote, app, or voice commands using Hey Google and Amazon Alexa. As far as dimensions go, this sleek design is comparable to the winter models and weighs about 73 pounds. It is almost 35 inches tall and has a footprint of 17 inches deep and 19 and a half inches wide. It's not small, but dual hose units will always be on the larger side when it comes to portable AC models. One more similarity to the Winter NEX model is that the Medea Duo can be purchased with or without a heating element. While the added heat is a great feature, I like to point out that for these models, the heating feature is intended for supplemental heating and not for your only source. Next up is the 14,000 BTU option from Cooper & Hunter that is suitable for up to 550 square feet. It has similar specs to my top choice model, the Winter NEX Inverter, including inverter technology and a hose-in-hose -hose design. I will note that Cooper & Hunter falls a bit short with their heating option. While I do find that it's useful for very mild climates, the company states that an anti-freeze protection will shut off the heating element if the outdoor temperature is below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. At under $540 though, I find this Cooper & Hunter model to be a great value for cooling. It's slightly louder than the other inverter models that I've worked with, but I think that 47 decibels is still a very reasonable noise level, especially when compared to single hose models. It's also pretty energy efficient with an EER of 10.23 and cooling wattage of 1,369. Now, sizing. It has similar dimensions to the other models I've mentioned, but this Cooper & Hunter model is the heaviest on my list and is a cumbersome 85 pounds. That said, if you know where you'd like to place it semi-permanently and can get a hand getting it in there, it will serve you well. Last on my list is another model from Winter, a company you can tell I stand behind when it comes to dual hose portable ACs. The Winter Arc 122DS is my top choice for smaller spaces of up to 400 square feet. While all of the other options I included were 14,000 BTU models, I wanted to include this 12,000 BTU Winter model because it really shines in the under 400 square foot category and can still dehumidify up to 82 pints per day. I currently have this non-inverter model set up in my small above garage apartment, and since we don't use the space very often, its $360 price tag has saved me thousands over having to add ductwork or install a mini split for that area. This winter model is also fairly quiet, especially for a non-inverter model, and matches Cooper & Hunter's 47 decibel rating. One unique feature that I like about this model is its universal window kit, which can be installed in both vertical and horizontal sliding windows. It's not as energy efficient as the other models on my list, and has an EER of 10, which barely meets my requirements for energy efficiency. But that said, I think its initial low cost and abundant cooling power make it an excellent value buy. It also happens to be the smallest dual hose model on my list, weighing in at 65 pounds. The dimensions are 29 and a half inches tall, 17 inches wide, and 16 inches for depth. There you have it. When it comes to using portable air conditioners, a dual hose design offers better energy efficiency and faster cooling than their single hose counterparts. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out the information in the description box below. This includes all product links plus our most up-to-date article on airconditionerlab.com. See you next time.